don't know why every time I decide to film, there has to be someone either leaf blowing or mowing their lawn outside, especially when I'm doing my makeup. Like, I don't know why. So I haven't filmed in a couple days. I wasn't really in the mood to film the past couple days for some reason. I was just not feeling the best. I've been really, really slacking on Instagram. Today I thought enough is enough. I need to take some Instagram pictures and I thought why not film getting ready for it and how I'm gonna do it because honestly, it's a lot harder than it looks because I usually get my boyfriend to take my pictures but then I always think about how about if he's not available then I end up with like no pictures and I know people say you should like bulk take pictures but then every time I try to bulk take pictures only like two of them end up being good out of like the hundred I take so then it's like I don't end up getting like a lot of days photos I get like two days photos so I don't know how to like manage it that well yet but I'm trying to learn because I need to figure it out and I'm like definitely serious about social media and I want to pursue it so I can't be slacking like I usually do. I've started doing my brows differently. First of all, I thinned them out a lot because I had that whole like bushy brow look for so long. I literally didn't get my brows done for maybe like three years. I would just do them at home and just clean it up a bit. But I actually got my eyebrows done professionally. I also went back to using a little like pencil. I, this one was actually $3 and it's pretty good. It's from Essence. So I never carve out my brows, but let's try it for once in our lives because I feel like everybody does it and I just don't. And I also used to never do my brows first. Brows were always lost for me. I feel like I'm like low key. Am I going back to 2016 makeup? Like a little bit, I think. Guys, remember the modern renaissance? I'm telling you, I'm like low key going back to 2016 right now, but you know what? Maybe it's kind of cute, but I'm gonna go in with kind of a light crease and just go everywhere. I literally don't get ready except for taking photos or making a video, but like even that, like photos, I will get away with like not putting on much. Natural look is really in, so like I don't really even need to wear that much makeup. Honestly, my photos do look a lot better when I do put a little more effort into my makeup. Now, the worst part, eyeliner. I literally mess this up every single time I'm on camera, so wish me luck. That looks pretty good though, not gonna lie. Almost sometimes the more precise I try to do eyeliner, like the worse it gets, but if I just do like one clean swoop, it will work. I don't know. I think that's a trick, Loki. All right, that's good. What the? That is dangerous. Like if I go to my face. But next we're gonna try this foundation. I never use it and it's a natural radiant long wear foundation by NARS. I don't really feel like wearing double wear today, so I'm just gonna try this with my sisters. Um, if you have sisters, you probably know you always steal their stuff and then they get mad at you and then you get in a fight and they say, why didn't you ask? But then you just do it anyways because you're too lazy to ask and they're not home. So yeah, I'm using her foundation, so hi, Kiana. Seems dark, but it's okay. Cause we're gonna go in with the vanish stick after and yes, I'm copying Leah because her videos are bomb and her makeup is bomb. So I did take some inspiration from her because she's amazing. And it's Halloween on Sunday, but we're gonna be going out Saturday and Sunday. We're not going out Friday, I don't think. But I'm really, really excited because literally all the restrictions are opening up. So you're allowed to have unlimited people in closed venues. So that means you can do concerts and stuff again. So I'm really, really grateful for that. It's gonna be a mansion party and it's open bar. I'm gonna be Poison Ivy, so I'll do a video getting ready for that. This actually looks really, really good, this foundation. I'm also gonna go in with this vanish stick. I feel like it's a little lighter. Just highlight a bit. These like cat scratches are gonna drive me crazy. They're really hard to cover to be honest. Gotta go in with the trusty old shape tape to try to cover that. There we go. Shape tape like really does the job sometimes. I've gotten back into baking. I was in that vibe where I wanted to barely use any powder. So now we're back to using powder because I feel like it actually 
kind of does something. Like, I don't know. Honestly, like this makeup is looking so 2016 and I'm living for it. And this is just taking me back to clubbing days where I get super glam. And that was just the vibe. But I think I wasn't that good at it back then. I've been watching more like celebrity makeup tutorials and I noticed they like really pack it on and it looks so good. My favorite part, nose contour. I think it's time to wipe the powder off, so. Okay, blush. We're gonna take the Joy by Rare Beauty blush. I put it on top of my Charlotte Tilbury spray. I take the Essence Mosaic blush, which is a dupe for the Dior one. And I just started trying it out, so let's see. I kind of go everywhere with it to tie it all in together. Inner corner, I hate this part. Just fucking up a lot right now. And I don't know how to fix it. And I'm starting to sweat a lot. Catch that on my daily album. I think it's okay. I also think it's not okay that I'm sweating my ass off right now. And lately I've been adding white liner, so let's see. Then we're gonna tight line with some brown liner up top. Now it's time for some setting spray with good old trusty Charlotte. for the final touch, which is lips. I've been loving this ColourPop Times Square. Okay, so we're finished makeup. Let's quickly do our hair. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I guess we can brush it out a bit. curl some of it. Anyways, I'm gonna finish up my hair and then we'll go take some photos because I have to charge my camera. I love you guys. See you in a bit. And we're back. We're gonna take some photos but we're gonna stay home for the most part today. We might go out to a field near my house but I'm not really sure yet because it's like pouring outside so it might not be ideal but for now, I'm gonna take some at home and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. Today, I have my boyfriend with me helping me, so it's a little bit easier, but otherwise, I'd have to use a tripod and self-timer, which is honestly kind of hard because getting the right angle is really hard for me and I haven't really learned how to do it myself yet. I did search some inspo last night, so I'll insert them here and I want to kind of recreate these. It's good to have inspo because it's so much easier to take pictures if you do because then you know how to pose, you're not like questioning what the background should look like, especially if you're not that creative with it like some people just like have a vision when it comes to photos and that's really not me so we have to kind of make do with inspo instead okay so the lighting in my house isn't that great right now especially because outside is gloomy as i said so i'm gonna be using this light so i need to set that up first this is like the little area i made in my mom's room we have this gray little couch and then she has her painting thing over there. So I thought it could be cool with this outfit. Um, this is my outfit. These jeans are thrifted. This is thrifted. It's from my last video. And then these are boots from Shein that are my sister's once again. Sorry, Tiana. And then this hat was also thrifted. And then we have some gold earrings. But yeah, let's just get started. I don't know how I'm going to pose because I'm really bad at posing. So Bijan, that's your job. You have to tell me what to do. Don't forget to clean your lens because it's literally the worst when it's dirty and then I brought a little mirror because I never check how I look and I feel like it will help. So we just got really lucky it's sunny outside i changed my outfit doing this cream fall moment with these corduroy pants 
thrifted shirt, thrifted pants, and then I haven't picked my boots, but I tied up my hair and switched it up because I feel like it's always good to switch up your hair because you can easily have too many photos with the same hairstyle. So what I'm wearing, I feel like I look really large in this because white and cream always make you feel like bigger than you are. But this is it, this is the look. We'll see you outside. So the leaves are all falling and there's a lot of orange everywhere. So I'm gonna try to find somewhere with like not wet leaves to take photos right now. So we're walking around the neighborhood. I also need to find good lighting because as you can see, it's kind of dark, but like, oh, look how beautiful that is. Sometimes I forget how lucky we are here because not everywhere gets this. And it's just so pretty. In my neighborhood's just so cute. Like everyone's like walking their dogs right now and taking strolls. Like really, really cute. The lighting is like this way. It's good still. So. Trying to get you like for the setting, right? So I don't want you to take pictures of like houses in the back. And Guys, this is literally so extra. But I guess we gotta do what we gotta do. Okay, so I did my makeup. It's another day. I need to take some more photos because yesterday I didn't get to take enough and some of them didn't end up turning out as usual. So we're just going to take one more day to do it. Um, I have this outfit on. I don't really care about the bottom so I'm just going to be taking it from the top. And I put some like extreme jewelry on because I feel like it will pop more in the picture. So I'm just gonna take some photos on photo booth on my laptop just to switch it up. And then I might also take out my old digital camera and get some with that because I feel like that will like mix up the feed a little instead of having all iPhone pictures. Got ourselves here on photo booth. I'm gonna place my laptop here so it's better lighting and then. try doing like an effect or something. It's kind of cool. Like there's four photos. We got some bug eye action going on. Like, um, cute. I played around with some of the effects. This is, these are some crazy photos. Might not post those. Just trying them out for fun, being dramatic. These are the real ones. I think it's time for the next outfit. Okay guys, we have this next little area set up. I just brought the mirror from my room and I put it here, just like this, so we can take some photos in a mirror with a white background. I might bring that chair over too. We, we gotta get creative, you know? That is it. This is the last outfit. I'm just gonna go out and take a couple of pictures out and about just like candidly. I did end up taking some photos on this and then taking a photo of the screen, if that makes sense. I can insert a photo. But if you wanna check out all the photos I did take in this video, definitely follow my Instagram. I'll be posting them all or at least the ones that make the cut. So yeah, definitely follow me. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you like these videos. Comment below. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.